Okay, when I first opened the siege, um, I ended up, uh, I, I didn't have a clue what to do. I went over here, hovered over this box, sandboxes. I thought, okay, that sounds like a good place to start. And I clicked on that box. And if you go over to the right-hand side, these are these are some worlds that you can build into. But let's go over to the other side, and it says uh, Barren Expanse, Empty Landscape to Test Machines. Cool. That's where I wanted to go. So I clicked it, and what came up was this box right here. I didn't have a clue what to do right now, but I figured, okay, well, click there. Obviously, it installs that. Now, in order to move that uh, screen around and rotate the uh, to where you want, where you can get the uh, same blocks on the other side, we just kind of hold the right key, scroll over, and we're going to put something there. Okay, now we're going to hold the right key, scroll left, and we're going to put a couple blocks right here. And once again, to the outside here, we're going to click. We're going to have to scroll over just a little bit so that we can get it to show up there. And now what we're going to do is we want we want a block underneath for our wheels. That's a little confusing right here, but we'll put it right like that. If I make a mistake, I undo because I don't really know where that went. Put it right there, turn this around. Do the same thing under here and over here. Again, I made a mistake, undo it. Click down below, undo it. There it is. Okay. Now, if we uh, again hold the right key and click around, we can see that we have a basic little unit right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click V and we're going to drop it to the ground. Now, again, this is going to be a simple little start for you just to see how you use the, the uh, controls and so forth. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to locomotion on the left hand, bottom left, and we're going to click it. We're going to go over here. You have motor wheel with the controls are up and down unpowered wheel, powered large wheel, and an unpowered large wheel. We're going to go ahead and go here to the motor wheel, and what we're going to do is what that shows is an intersection. I'm not exactly sure what intersection means, but it means that you can't put anything right there. So what we're going to do, here, this is a good example so that as you're going along, if you make a mistake, you know what to do. We're going to hover right over this, and we're going to X to drop that block. We're going to go over here, we're going to X to drop that block. X to drop that block. Oh, I dropped the whole thing. Okay, so undo. This really isn't bad to show you some of this here. Undo. We just want to undo this part right here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start again. We're going to go back over here to the block. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, wheel right there. We'll put a wheel right there, a wheel there. We're going to turn it around. We're going to put a wheel here and a wheel here. And we're going to drop it to the ground. And this is going to be as simple as you can make it right here, right? Um, now, in order to get this here to move and all, we're going to go over to the play button. Click play, and then we use the right arrow, the uh, up arrow to go forward, and the down arrow to go backwards. That's it. That's basically what I'm going to leave it as it is because I made a few mistakes into there, but then I showed you how to get out of those mistakes. So this is my first attempt right here, and I'm going to go. I'm going to continue on with Besiege. I'm going to learn a little bit more about the program and everything, and how to build things because it looks like you can do really cool stuff. Um, so uh, I'm, to get back into the building mode, you go up here, click on the block and everything. But just to give you a general idea, let's go like here on what you can do. Let's scroll over here. Click right there. Scroll over and go down here to uh, I'm looking for weapons right now. Weaponry. And let's go over here and get a circular saw. We're going to put that circular saw right there, and then we're going to go, and then we're going to scroll back to the regular thing here, and we're going to we're going to go to the play key, and there you go. 
Now we can scroll forward, and if we hit anything we hit with that circular saw and everything, it's going to cut it up and everything. So basically, back to the building thing. Basically, um, excuse me for messing up a little bit, but like I said, it, I think it helped. It maybe helps a little bit because it shows you um, how to correct your mistakes along the way without having to start all over. I haven't figured out yet how to close this, how to uh, get rid of that machine and just go ahead and start a new one. So I'm going to work on that along the way as well. But that gives you kind of a quick basics, and I think you can kind of take it from there and start building things and add some of the some of the uh, armory. And uh, down below here, you've got the locomotion, uh, mechanical, weaponry, flight, so you, like helicopter and so forth, automation to automate things, and all. You can set a timer bar to go whenever you want it to. Armor to protect yourself along the way. Um, I didn't show you the mechanical, but it's like. Swivel joints, hinges, ball joints, spinner blocks. I think you open these other things as you go along. You can see right there a lot of the other things are are uh, hidden right now. And I think you probably open them as you go along. Well, maybe not. Maybe you can put them on there now. Yeah, I guess you can. Okay, so anyway, that's, um, again, back up to the top. Click, click that. You're back to the building mode. Never mind. So, um, I don't know. I hope that helps you out a little bit. I'll try to make uh, a little smoother uh, in, the, in the future. But uh, we're going to go with that right now. And uh, let me know if you like it. If you like it, put a, click down below. Put a comment in. I'll put a like on my page. on the uh, and, and put a like down below. And uh, let me know if you liked it. If you didn't like it. If you think I should take a little bit of time to not make these mistakes and it probably will in the future but this is the first one and, and, and i thought we'd work on that together to show you what can be done so uh, anyway th hey, this looks like a pretty cool program